Workflexi is a gig marketplace where you can hire top quality gig workers and take up verified gigs. This video walks you through Workflexi's product tutorial. First, open your web browser and type in www.workflexi.in. This opens up Workflexi's homepage. Now, click on Login. If you're a first time user, you must create an account for yourself. To create an account, click on Sign Up. Fill in your details and click Submit. Once your account is created, you can sign in using your phone number and OTP or email and password. As you sign in, you will be directed to this page. On WorkFlexi, you can operate in four different roles. Individual Gig Worker Individual Hirer Company Gig Worker and Company Hirer You can toggle between these roles as per your need at any time. To continue, you need to select your role. Let's say you represent a company and you want to hire gig workers. Do you need to select the want to hire option? This indicates that you want to hire. Then, you need to select the company option. This indicates that you represent a company. With that, you will be logged in as a company hirer. If you are a first time user, you either need to register your company or join a registered company. Let's say you want to register a new company. Do you need to click here? Be sure to keep your company's PAN number handy while registering the company since it's a mandatory field. Fill in the company details and click on Next. After submitting the company details, log in after a while to check if your company has been approved. The company will be approved following a quick verification in the background. Once the company is approved, you can access the company dashboard. Note that the user who registers a company will become the primary user of that company by default. The ownership can be transferred to another user anytime. Let's say you want to access a registered company. You can do so by clicking on this drop down. Selecting the company and clicking on request access. A notification will be sent to the primary user of the company. Once the primary user approves the access request, do you become the secondary user of the company and you can access the company dashboard. After requesting access for a company, log in after a while to check if your access request has been approved. Here's how you can approve or reject access requests. Please note that this option is only available for the primary users of the company. Click on your profile, select view company and select requires approval. Here, you need to select the user you want to approve as the secondary user. Click on this drop down, select approve and click on submit. You can also reject access requests in the same fashion. Next, to remove a secondary user from the company, click on assigned users. Select the user you want to remove and click on unassign. You can shortlist the gig workers using two methods. First, let's look at the inbound method. Click on dashboard and click on post a gig. Fill in your requirement and click Add. This post will be visible to all the gig workers with the relevant skills. Interested candidates will start applying for the gig. And you will be notified when a gig worker applies for it. You can skim through the candidates and shortlist the ones that best suit your requirements. Now, let's look at the outbound method to shortlist the gig workers. Click on Dashboard and click on Reset filters if there are any filters applied. Let's say you want to hire a content writer. Type content writer and click on search. You will see all the profiles that are relevant to your search query. You can have a look at the profiles and shortlist the profile that best suits your requirement. You can find the shortlisted profiles in the Shortlisted Gig Workers tab. Here you can chat with the gig worker, discuss the scope of work, and negotiate prices. Once you finalize the particulars with the gig worker you want to work with, you can engage them by adding a task. To add a task, click on Create Milestone. Here, you first need to select the start date. The start date indicates the day the gig worker is supposed to start the task. Then click on Add Task. Next, you need to select the End Date. This indicates the deadline for finishing the task. Enter the amount payable for the task. Lastly, write a crystal clear description of the deliverables here and click on Add Task. After adding the task, click on Save and then click on Send for Approval.
Now the task will be sent to the gig worker for approval. The gig worker can now go through and approve the task if it's in terms with your agreement or reject and send it for revision if any changes are required. On the approval of the task, a pro forma invoice is raised by the system and sent to your registered email. The pro forma invoice details the amount to be funded into your wallet to start the task. To fund the wallet, you first need to fetch your wallet address. So click on the wallet option on the top and your wallet address will be displayed. You can transfer the funds to your wallet address through NEFT, RTGS, IMPS, or UPI. Also, you can view or export your wallet transaction history from the wallet statement. Once the wallet has sufficient balance, you will be allowed to start the task. To start the task, go to the shortlisted gig workers tab, find the gig worker, and click on task board. Under approved tasks you can see the task that has been approved by the gig worker. You can start the task by clicking on the start button. Please note that the start button will only be enabled if your wallet holds a sufficient balance. Once the task is started, you can see that the disburse button gets enabled. On successful completion of the task, you can click on disburse and the payment will be disbursed to the gig worker. Once the payment is disbursed, you will be prompted to provide feedback for the gig worker. You can leave your ratings and feedback for the gig worker here. Simultaneously, on disbursing the payment, the final invoice will be generated by the system and sent to your registered email. To switch roles, you need to click on the switch user option on the top. You can toggle between different user roles by selecting the login route here. The individual hire flow remains the same as the company hire, except that you don't need to register a company to continue. As an individual gig worker, you first need to update at least one skill to continue to the dashboard. Following this, you can add more skills to your name by visiting your profile. Since you receive your payouts directly to your bank account, it is recommended to add your bank details early on. Once you add these details, you can continue to the dashboard. Here you can explore gigs and apply for them. Note that the dashboard applies a filter by default to only show gigs that are relevant to the skills that you have added. So if you are not able to find a gig, you can always reset the filter and explore or add more skills to your profile. You get notified whenever a hirer shortlists you or tries to send you a message. To respond to the messages, you need to go to the hirers who shortlisted me tab. Here you can respond to the messages by clicking on the chat option. And, if a hirer tries to engage you by creating a task, you can approve or reject the task by clicking the task board button. If the deliverables in the task are in terms of what you agree to take up, click on the approve button. You will see a disabled start button on approving the task. This indicates that the hirer is yet to fund the wallet for your task. If the start button is enabled, it indicates that the hirer has funded the wallet for your task. With this signal, you can start the task assured that your payment is secured. On successful completion of the task, the payment will be instantly transferred to your bank account. Once the payment is disbursed, you will be prompted to provide feedback for the hirer. Here, you can leave your ratings and feedback for the hirer. The company gig worker flow remains the same as the individual gig worker except that you need to register a company to continue. Thank you.